Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Ellipses in Physics. Three examples of ellipses in physics would be that of stable planetary orbits. So, Johannes Kepler, in the 17th century, discovered that the orbits of planets around stars follow elliptical trajectories. So, an ellipse in Cartesian coordinates, here in a two-dimensional surface, can be described by the equation x over a squared plus y over b squared is equal to 1. Notice that this equation is very similar in structure to the equation for a circle. It's just that in the case of the circle, a and b are equal to 1. So as long as a and or b are not equal to 1 and are positive here, then you will end up with an elliptical curve. So these two points are called the focal points. And in a planetary orbit that's stable, this is a star, and it exists at one of the two focal points. And then the planet, the orbiting satellite, will orbit around the star in an elliptical fashion. The eccentricity of such a trajectory is greater than zero, but less than one. This is different than that of a circle, where a circle has eccentricity equal exactly to zero. And we can describe the distance, the nearest distance and the furthest distance from the star in terms of eccentricity and what's called the apoapsis and periapsis. So this would be r sub a, which is the apoapsis. It's the furthest distance away from the star. And then this would be the periapsis. If it's the sun, then this would be called aphelion, and this would be perihelion. So the eccentricity, then, can be written in terms of these distances as r sub a minus r sub p divided by r a plus r p. A second example in physics where ellipses are uh, occurring or is that of the general solution for a harmonic oscillator in two dimensions. So if you consider a quadratic potential in two dimensions, and you have a mass that's rolling around in this two-dimensional potential, this potential describes the potential for a two-dimensional harmonic oscillator and the general solution will be that of an ellipse. So the trajectory in phase space, this would be a third example, of simple harmonic motion would be that of an ellipse as well. If you consider a mass attached to a spring, as the mass is displaced, the spring will expand and compress and the velocity of this mass will change as well. And so the kinetic energy will change. So if we consider a phase space portrait where we plot the velocity of the mass with respect to its position, generally the trajectory over time will generate an ellipse. We see this because as the mass is displaced at a maximum, it slows down and stops so the velocity is equal to zero. But the velocity is fastest when it passes through the zero. So over time, this trajectory will develop in the phase space. And this curve in the portrait can be described by an ellipse, where this area is conserved due to the conservation of energy in this case, since there's no friction damping the spring. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Ellipses and Physics.